you might have seen these effects going viral on X. People doing incredible things with MediaPipe, tracking their entire bodies, faces, hands, and creating interactive experiences. And in one of our previous videos, we explored MediaPipe hand tracking with that cool particle effect, but that was just scratching the surface. Today, we are unlocking the full potential of MediaPipe, how it actually works, and how we can use it for tracking our bodies. On top of that, we will build a fitness tracker, an air piano, a posture monitor, which is my personal favorite, and even an app that tracks your meeting behavior. Let's get to it. So before we jump into building, let's quickly understand what MediaPipe actually is and what it can do. So MediaPipe is Google's open source framework for real-time body tracking and it's incredibly powerful. It gives us four main detection modes, face, hand, pose, and holistic. And instead of just describing each one of them, I've asked Bolt to build an interactive showcase demonstrating MediaPipe's capabilities so you can see how they really work. So first, face detection. When we go to demo, we're going to start our camera. You can see there is this sort of mesh on my face. And what it does is it tracks 468 landmarks, which are those sort of small points. And it tracks a lot of parameters on my face. So my expression, certain angles of my face, if my eyes are open and if my mouth is open as well. So I'm going to leave the link to the live demo uh, in the video description so you can test it and play with it yourself. But I've added a few challenges so you can see how MediaPipe recognizes my face. So first, hold a big smile for three seconds. You see my expression changes to smiling when I actually try to smile. Now we're going to turn our head right. Going to turn my head left. And you can see all those angles and parameters changing when I do that. Now I'm going to blink three times. And you see my left and right eye were recognized as closed when I was actually closing them. Now I'm going to look up at ceiling. And there we go. All challenges complete. So this is how the face detection works in MediaPipe library. Now we're going to move to the hand detection. I'm going to try this demo. And you might notice we only have 21 landmarks. So I'm going to show my hand over here. I have my open palm. I'm going to go with two hands actually. Now I'm going to try to make a fist. Great. Now I'm going to show peace sign. Awesome. And just point forward. Cool. So why I want you to understand how MediaPipe works in detail is when you look at the points tracking my hands, so the so-called landmarks, you see when my palms are open, it's tracking them really, really well. When I close them into the fist, it can also very easily recognize the fist shape. But there are certain angles that might be a bit more tricky. So, and I'm going to try to do this. You'll see the points get a bit glitchy over here. So that's why I think it's really important to know how MediaPipe actually works. So whenever you create your own apps or games, you'll know that maybe it's best to avoid putting user in a position where he needs to put their hands in this plane but this is perfect, this is great, rotation works really good, distance between the hands, which you can also utilize, works really good too. So essentially, maybe just avoid those sort of flat angles of your palms. Now we're going to go to the post detection, and this is again a bit closer to, I would say, hand detection, because we also have like only 33 landmarks, well, only. It's more than enough for most cases, but it's not close to 500. But it tracks our face to some extent, so sort of line of our eyes uh, in relation to the nose, our mouth, and then big joints of our body. So now I'm going to raise my arms, going to keep just one arm raised, and we could also track our squat. But since one of our apps in the later part of the video is going to be a fitness app, I'm going to do my fair share of squatting later. But now the last mode is the holistic detection and it combines face, hand and our entire body. So you can see our mesh here over my face. We can see the points tracking our body and we can also see our hands. So if I'm going to smile and wave, you see it can detect both of them at the same time. I'm going to do arms up with peace signs as well. Perfect. And smile with arms raised. Very cool. So as I mentioned, you can play with it and test it. I'm going to leave the 
link to this live demo in the video description, but now that we know how MediaPipe works, let's build something with it. So our first real life app is going to be a fitness tracker. So I promise I'm going to do some squats in this video. So now's the time for the squats. So for this one, I've worked on the prompt with Claude and what we came up with was building a clean fitness app for basic exercises using media pipe post detection. So the concept is simple. We pick an exercise, we do it. The app watches our reps, it counts them, and then we get real time form feedback if we want to. So this is a text tag. The important part is the media pipe post landmarker. Then we have our exercises. So push ups, squats, jumping jacks, and arm raises in this case, but we could pick any other exercise we want. Then we have our user flow. Uh, Claude added some angles here, how to recognize good squats and push ups, but we could edit it obviously, or we could just ask Paul to figure it out and then we can iterate on it. But here I just iterated on it with Claude already. So this is our master prompt, which of course I'm gonna attach to the doc in the description of this video. So we run the single prompt and after just one prompt, we have this application. So now let's test how it actually works. As you can see, it works really, really well. And this is just the first iteration. You could easily expand this into a complete workout app with custom routines, progress tracking, more exercises, personal challenges, maybe even competing with your friends. MediaPipe handles the body tracking and Bolt can build whatever features you dream up. It's all up to your creativity and imagination. Now let's build something a bit different. So our next project is the Air Piano. So for this one, I've asked Bolt to build a virtual 8-key piano controlled by finger positions using media pipe hands with two modes, free play and rhythm game. And in the rhythm game, I want notes to fall in a guitar hero step. So the notes are going to start at the top of the screen, they're going to fall down, and when they are in the right position, we're going to hit them with our finger, essentially. So let's see how Bolt did. We're going to go full screen, we're going to start with the free play, and let's see. Our hands are perfectly recognized. And when we cross with our fingers, the line here, the sound is going to be played. And this is where our showcase from the beginning comes into play, because if I will do this, you'll see it's going to be a little glitchy. But when I hold my hands like this, and when I play it like that, I control it fully and it's a really good experience. So. Gonna try to play one of the songs from the rhythm section. Let's try Mary Had a Little Lamp. There we go. It's a lot of fun. And obviously you could take this one further too. You could add more octaves, record and playback melodies, use it for drums instead of a piano maybe, or even build a full music composition tool. But even as it is, it feels pretty magical. So now let's build something that you could actually use for everyday work, especially if you're spending hours in video calls. Now this next one is my personal favorite and honestly the one I probably need the most. We've created a real-time posture monitoring application using MediaPipe Post that helps desk workers maintain healthy posture with premium minimalist design. So the way it works is that we hit get started, we sit in our best posture, the one we feel comfortably with, click continue, start capturing ourselves to calibrate the perfect position, hold still, and now we can start tracking. Now here we can see our posture is excellent, it goes a bit sideways, the score goes down when we sit up again. We can also check what our target should be, 
it goes back to excellent. Now, obviously, we don't want to just look at our cells the entire day and just look at the score and make sure that it's excellent. We want it to work in the background. So let's switch our tab. We're going to make our posture worse. You can hear the sound playing. It's telling us our posture is wrong. It's actually going to happen also in this app. Go here, you can see this notification and the sound playing. And this is the kind of thing that can run quietly in the background while you work. It's almost like having someone gently remind you to sit up straight, except it never gets tired of telling you. And I could absolutely see myself using an app like that every single day. Now, let's move to our last project for today. And finally, let's use MediaPipe face detection to help you understand and improve your meeting presence. So the idea is to track your facial cues and attention during meetings, so you can see how engaged you actually appear when you talk with clients, your boss, or your coworkers. So we're creating a meeting stats web application that uses MediaPipe face detection to track and visualize personal meeting engagement metrics in real time. So the way it works is whenever you start your Zoom or Google Meet call, you can hit play here, and in the background, we're going to record how many times you've nodded, how many times you've looked away from the screen, and it all works in the background. You're actually also tracking where you look on your screen. So whenever you end your meeting, you can see this one took 17 seconds. We were focused for 93% of the time. We've nodded twice, we looked away twice as well. And here we have our focus heat map. So if during the call, our eyes go somewhere else, we would see it here on the heat map. We see our attention timeline, and we also get our insights. So now with this app, you'd know, do you check your phone during meetings? Do you zone out in the afternoon? Are you nodding along, but your attention is actually elsewhere? You could use this to genuinely improve your meeting habits and presence, or just have fun seeing your patterns over time. So there you have it, four completely different apps, all built in minutes using MediaPipe and Bolt. We tracked full body movements for fitness, hand gestures for music, body positioning for posture, and facial cues for meeting presence. And the best part, we did all of this just by describing what we wanted. And if you built something cool with MediaPipe, let us know in the comments. I'd genuinely love to see it. The future of building is here, and it's pretty incredible. Thanks for watching, and happy building.